And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Noxus Spiders. It's a deck that um, been playing against some. I found on Mobilitics and it looks looks pretty good. I think this was a swim deck if I remember correctly. Like I think somebody said that this was a deck from Swim. Uh, but you know we get to be more aggressive with our spider stuff. So instead of having you know we're still like Elise Callista doing a lot of things that the They Who Endure deck does. But instead of going they who had atrocity at the top end, um, we have just more damage producers. We got Crimson Disciple, Demolitionist uh, doing that kind of damage. And then Fervor, Decimate, some more Nexus damage like that. Um, you know, we have our Transfusions in here because of uh, how we talked about how like this card's great with Curse Keeper and just a really good uh, card with Crimson Disciple as well. Um, and, you know, we're just trying to trying to get that uh, damage in. I, I'm going to make... Wait, I'm going to make one change right now. I, I'm As you all know, I don't like Hapless Aristocrat. I don't. Um, I forgot. I was going to change this earlier. Last time, we, whenever we played this kind of deck, we did one Hapless Aristocrat, two Bark Beast, and that's what I want to do. I like Bark Beast a little more, but I kind of like having the combination of the two. Um, maybe with this deck, Bark Beast may just be better, though. Because Bark Beast is more aggressive. I'll I'll do that. We'll just do we'll just do the two and the one again. All right, go play. All right, here we go. We'll go play five games over in ranked, like always, and let's see how we do. Darius is just pretty slow and clunky. I don't know. We have Callista. I think the Callista is going to be more powerful for us. Overall, then at Darius. Darius just costs six mana. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Darius, to be honest. So, Wakanda, did you hear me? Is Monday okay for your donation deck? Does that work for you? Refresh camera. Camera's lagging, we will refresh that. Thanks for letting me know. There we go, that should be better. All right, so we have the attack token on turn three, which is really good for the caretaker. So we can go keeper on two, caretaker on three, and attack in with some saplings. They are passing though, so maybe, maybe they won't have like the things for me to uh, challenge yet. So we'll go Elise. On to instead. Alright, so they were waiting for me to play that. I suppose. So we so I'll have a vulnerable Elise. Fortune favors the bold. Be right out. You won't suffer long. You point, I shoot. Set sail. Oh. I kind of figured they would be challenging here, but they didn't. Could save a bunch of damage, I guess, if I would just Vile Feast the, hunted, the hired gun. Okay, cool. Cool. So yeah, that works for you. Good. Don't ask where from. Ask how much. Yeah, I probably should have just buy off he said the two one and kept this as a four four. We must all make Well, they should get some good stuff. Oh, fresh soil.
That's the... <laughs> this did not go well. That did not go well. But I mean, that's that's what I get for not buy off in the two one, right? Like that was that was my big mistake. I really should have done that. Could have had you know, like that four four. Should have still just been a four three. That was a big mistake. So the they definitely wanted to play Sejuani. That was their goal. Come closer. So we know they have a Sejuani in Fight. hand. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. They wanted to pass. I play something. They Sejuani it and kill it. For the Empire. <clears throat> Doesn't look good for us. Make the Empire proud. Achilles, where are you? That's why you don't put hapless aristocrat in your deck, because people will steal it, and then it's a really annoying blocker to get through. Like what am I even supposed to do? Is there any option besides concede? <laughs> uh, like, I can't beat Sejuani. Um, I can't, like, attack, because they have this 3-3. Three, three. So I attack, we do 3 damage. They go down to 11. I have 5 more. Put them down to 6. Twisted Fate, Withering Whale. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Oh. <laughs> this is just getting worse. Not only. Um, not only that game that we just got destroyed, uh, somebody's mowing there, like, using a really loud edge trimmer, like, right outside the door, basically, like, the, the neighbor, I think the neighbor across the street, so it's real loud, and so Harvey's barking. Could they just wait, like, 40 minutes? That'd be done. All right, Lisa and Ezreal. Um, I like it. Start off aggressive. Hopefully we don't run out of gas so much with having glimpse beyonds. Discarded, Lee Sin. Oh, Alright, we got a two for one. Not bad. Get him, Beast. Bark Beast. That 
looks like Harvey in the background, a bark beast. So I could glimpse beyond, but I kind of want to just kill the their blocker. Kind of want to just go noxion forever, kill their blocker, because uh, then we get to just attack for five. Let's see if I go glimpse beyond. I mean, because this could be seven damage upstairs. I think that's worth. I think it's actually worth it. Kill kill blocker. like that. No, your Cabo, your deck doesn't need more draw. If you're talking about the deck that we just played, the Shen's Fortune does not need more card draw. It needs more cheap spells, get inter cheap interaction, that kind of stuff. It does not need more card draw. Got plenty. I think just I wouldn't change too much. I mean, I think just take out the two the two vulner, like the two one mana vulnerable thing, the Yi Bian War to play a couple Maker Rains instead. I don't think you need to do that much. The deck felt pretty good. Like like doing this while we know that they can't respond, not having the open mana. Trail of Evidence is pretty sweet with Lee Sin. So they have two two mana cards that cost zero this turn in hand. Treasure, discard, discard, concussive fall. We, we shall not rest until all betrayers Hoping no static shock. But even stat static shock would level up Callista. They kinda need like get excited, then static shock. Alright, I think we're gonna get this one. I think we got this one. best thing they could do is like gotcha plus static shock but that wouldn't really matter like we have the double glimpse beyond to save Callista so yeah all right one and one Yeah, it's a possibility that something that Yoink gets nerfed. Definitely uh, a possibility. Ash says one e.
not the best two cards to like start with, right? Like pet and demolitions don't work super well together. Okay, cool. Got disciple. Disciple makes those cards a lot better. Oh, I can't wait. Worst case scenario is they have the three one frostbite. Okay. As far as playing this pre combat. You know, instead of just attacking for two. To get some damage in, damage in, damage in. We gotta be real aggressive. All good, Skya. You have had uh, six day a week arrow. shifts now. Hopefully, you're um, earning some good money though. Blocking the 2 1. I like that. Lead the target. No. No backing yes. down. We must all make sacrifices. Good. So I could could have just gone. Oh, I guess I no, I don't think I could have gone demolitionist also. Right then, but I need to vile feast then before they uh, before they could go elixir of iron with the ash. All right, so puts them down to eleven. This will put them down to seven. What am I doing? I don't care about five damage for us. We can use that for a resource. We need to go wide and attack. The glory of I love the taste of the action. Hoping no harsh winds. Stand and defend. Come on, just take four, take four. Take four. there yeah that was big that they didn't block crimson disciple that was really important that was really important they didn't block crimson disciple got an additional four points of damage with those demolitionists I don't think there's necessarily a best deck to climb ring. I mean, maybe I guess like the Endure Spiders deck. That, I guess that one's probably the best. That one, like looking at Mobilitics, seems to have just a, an, an awesome win rate kind of across the board. So I guess it's that one. But um, you know, that's the the great part about this game is you can play you can play anything and do really well with it. There's not there's not just a play this deck this is the best deck kind of thing. Plus on Tuesday, things can change. Uh, we're going to be getting a new patch, balance patch update on Tuesday where they said it's going to be 20 plus cards. It's a lot of cards.
Bonus deck's probably pretty great. <clears throat> yep, it's pretty great. So it'd be nice to have Callista in play before everything starts dying. Oh, I had the mute, sorry. Yep, there's, that's Harvey. He's sitting in the little dog bed. Deal. Dang. This was pretty awesome. For them, pretty awesome. That's turn three. All that stuff. Plus, they still have three Omen Hawk triggers that we don't know about, of like making three other things a lot bigger. The problem with doing the Glimpse Beyond, even though it does help me block here, the problem is it makes my Caretaker worse. I don't really have anything now to get rid of Caretaker, or Caretaker, but we are drawing a couple of cards, so we'll see what happens. And I couldn't quite level up the Callista to survive, almost, but couldn't quite. Four twisted fates are easy to deal with. Why not? Why not? They didn't steal a card from me. So much just to do, <laughs> just to do three points of damage. Oh come on, you have Sejuani also, or no? Oh, Pilfer good. That's good. These things are down to uh, 
two health each. I was hoping that, that this was going to block the Bark Beast. You know, we'd keep the Crimson Disciple alive. That would block Bark Beast. I would be able to buy off that thing. That was my hope. hands possible from the opponent so that doesn't make much sense for the Empire That can't. That couldn't have been a good play, right? We have the we have what's in play under wraps pretty well, but they have four cards in hand. That's still a lot of cards in hand. Every you dare. That's still a lot of cards in hand. Pain is nothing. Pretty decent game out of it. That's true. Maybe I should just, yeah, maybe I should just challenge with that that sapling to challenge the Sejuani. Not who wouldn't make the other spider, but <laughs> I guess you can win them. I could have just kept, or I could have kept like the two, a two one back. Yeah, yeah, that's that would have been a better play. Could have just had an additional two one. Leave no survivors. Really matter too much though. What a tangled web. That was one of the best hands I've ever seen. Um, Omen Hawk on turn one, attack on turn two, double three three Jagged Butcher on turn two, uh, turn three Hired Gun plus Omen Hawk, three four Hired Gun that is, plus Omen Hawk. Turn four Twisted Fate. That was a 4-4. Four, four. Draw another card. And then that two mana pilfered goods. Uh, the, I guess the next is the next turn was pilfered goods plus other stuff. It was it was ridiculous. I guess Yordle Grifter. Turn five was Yordle Grifter and Pilfered Goods. Yeah, that's It was just silly. 
Hey, Shade. But I have to say, after playing the... Uh, the Endure version yesterday, playing this version today, I'd say I like that deck a lot more. Um, yeah, just the Freljord cards are better than these Noxus cards, basically. Omen Hawk. Uh, Omen Hawk's still amazing. Come closer. I don't fight. And. Then they who endure is a lot more powerful than decimate. They only gain one life because they're at 19. And now lose 13. That's a big attack. That was a big attack right there. Many tribes under one banner. All right, should have this one. Oh, they could vile feast. Okay, they didn't. All right, so still finished green too. We, we have no mercy. I feel bad for the people playing the War Mother's Call decks. So we played against them a couple of times today, and the games just aren't aren't close. Fortunately, it's just uh, just too hard to play Anivia these days um but anyway so there we go so noxus spiders wanted whoops wanted to give this deck a try it looked pretty cool but wasn't really very impressed with it to be honest um even though we had a, a three two record you know sometimes you know sometimes you'll go like two and three with the deck and you're real impressed with it other times three and two you're not impressed with it kind of thing like like the the shen's fortune deck definitely felt better than this deck for example but Shen's Fortune, we just ran into a buzzsaw. We just ran into two opponents that um, had amazing stuff, you know, kind of thing. But, uh, you know, like that happened. So, um, I mean, Elise is good. Kliss is good. I, I think if, you, if you're going to play this kind of deck, though, just just play the just play the Freljord version. You know, just play play this version. Omen Hawk, Averroes, and Sentry are both amazing. Um, and then They Who Endure is incredible. I think this this deck's just better. So, good to learn, good to learn. All right, uh, but that's it here for Noxus Spiders. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck, if there's something that I'm missing. If you really like it yourself, feel free to let me know over there in the comments. But anyway, Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.